I want to tell you about my own story, about how I came to Jewish life. I think that I have uh, the same situation and the same, like, very similar stories, a story as people from the Soviet Union. Uh, when my mother was 40 years old, my mother needed to change some documents to be ready for the pension, and uh, so she came uh, for, to the place of her birth. Uh, and uh, when people there started to, to find uh, something uh, to look out of these documents, uh, they said that uh, her real father's name, not Arkady, but it is Israel. Uh, she was really in shock uh, because 40 years uh, she lives like uh, she lived in a uh, usual Soviet Union family. So when uh, she came back to my town, uh, she found uh, her friend. Uh, she knew that uh, her friend was Jewish. And just, she said that we have Jewish community, so if you want, you can come. Uh, and my mother decided to, uh, for me and for my sisters, that it will be not bad to go to, uh, to knew some different things. And that's how we started to go to the community. It was, I think that uh, in uh, uh, our town, it, it was not small, it was okay. Uh, we, have, uh, we had Sunday school, uh, we celebrate Shabbat, like different holidays. We, have, uh, we had different uh, summer camps in our region and uh, the whole Siberia is very, very big. And when uh, different children came from different places, it was, it was like lovely time to, to do, to, to live. Uh, and uh, after some years, we, 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 like, we saw a synagogue in our town. It was like something unusual and it works well. Uh, but in some way, some time everything was stopping. I don't know why, I think because of money. Uh, and the only thing that we have now, it's, uh, it's a national Jewish uh, cultural autonomy. Uh, I think that it's a part of joint, I don't know exactly because I didn't see any documents. Uh, and uh, the only thing that I have now is uh, to help people, old people, because there is no children, there is no teenagers, like, uh, and uh, I have only my girls after 70, and uh, of course they uh, have no money to pay me for, for different classes, but I want to work. I want to, to join to this uh, Jewish life to, of course it's hard for us to keep Shabbat or to follow kosher. We have no, of course, no kosher food at all. <laughs> and uh, even matzah, it's, it's difficult. Now it's very difficult to, to, to take it, really. And, the only thing that I have now, it's uh, classes with my girls and I want to bring them some, like, some, something that makes them happy because they are smiling. Uh, this organization is like they uh, give people maybe some money for food as I'm a professional dancer. For me, it's very, very important to, to know uh, to learn about it and uh, some years ago one girl asked me for uh, to do some classes with not Jewish people a lot of not Jewish people but they they know that I'm that I have uh, Jewish roots and they asked me to to speak about Jewish life uh, and to learn some dances and they loved so much uh, the dances uh, and they invited me to to do like some seminars or workshops 
around our region in deep villages where like uh, some thousands people live and for them it was like it was like wow what is it <laughs> and uh, i'm happy that i can bring it uh, that i can bring my culture my my love to people uh, there is one more thing uh, uh, it so happened that uh, my mother buried in israel so the israeli dances and uh, all things that connected with it, it's like my link with her. It's like my link with my family who is not alive. So thank you for being here, for bringing me happy. I'm going to teach my girls and I'm going to, to, to work with a lot of power, with new knowledges, and it's very, very important for me, oh, for medicines.